Praise and good morning, good morning. Welcome back once again to House of Esther Divine Ministries Morning Devotion. I am Teacher Hillary, and my topic today is Teach Your Heart to Be Thankful. So I have a few definitions. Teach, show, or explain to someone how to do something you are given instructions. In return, you acquired knowledge or skill. You're belonging to. So it's belonging to you and you and you. Thankful. Expressing gratitude, appreciation for people and things in your life. Heart. Represent the center of emotion including affection and love, especially romantic love. So, what is the key to being thankful? In practicing gratitude, we must affirm the good things we have received. We acknowledge the role other people play in providing our lives with goodness. God says to us in 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 to 18, Rejoice more, pray without ceasing, and everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. When shall we be thankful? <clears throat> you know, at this time, you know, we have life. Many of us are on this face of the earth, number of years, from the baby, the baby that just born, a few seconds old, to the oldest person on earth who may be a hundred plus. So that is sufficient to give God thanks for. We thankful for the shelter of our, of our head. We thankful for the clothes on our back. We thankful. For the food on our table, we thankful for our family, we thankful for our friends, we thankful for each and everything that happened to us during the course of our life. Sometimes it may be up and sometimes it may be down, but we still have to give God thanks because in our down, we learn something. In our down, we learn, okay, I used to go right all the time and right caused me to get in difficulties, so this time I'm going left. So we got to learn from our downtime. We got to learn from things that happen to us that will able not to part venture, not to add, be in that situation again. And we got to be thankful because we learn a lesson. As we say, lesson learned. Thankfulness opens hearts. Being thankful shapes the future. Gratitude reduces want wantedness as you say lesson in this is always at times some of us always give me give me give me give me i want i want i want you know but we have to be thankful for what we have at that particular time if it's a opportunity right that's something that you need i'll be something that you need which is Something that you really need in life or for you to go on. You pray and ask God for it. But sometimes we want things that we can't handle. Sometimes we want things that is not for us at that right time. And when we get it we, or we don't get it, we cause a pity party for ourselves. We send ourselves in a, in, a, in a kind of depression, you know. So asking God... You know, to help each and every one of us to hold on, to fight, you know, to keep that thankful heart for whatever little we have. You must realize that it is not important at all, at all times when you want the gimme, gimme and you want, want, want. That's not important, you know, but we just want it just for wanting sake. And at that time, it is not important for us. Thankfulness impacts our memories lesson. 
in remembering did this same thing happen on a different occasion 10 years back two years back did the same thing happen probably different people different place different time you know but when we look back we learn okay i did this or well, someone tell me this few words and it gave me strength and courage to go on to be thankful thankfulness be a balance a healthy sense of self and he's saying that when you're not thankful you're ungrateful and if you're ungrateful you know and people that studying you people not running to your attention people not caring about you you put yourself in deep stress because nobody ain't care for me look i ain't eat for two days and nobody even call to see how i'm going this that 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 well, something wrong. You have to check yourself because if nobody ain't checking on you and nobody ain't calling, you're not thankful. Your heart is not indicted in a good matter, as we just say. So, you know, you got to pick up yourself with God's help and determination to fight and to go on and always be grateful for all that you have. Reasons to express your thankfulness to God. God gave you this greatest gift of salvation through his son, Jesus Christ. John 3, 16. He answers our prayers each and every time he calls. He might not answer it right away, but at a certain time and certain how he does answer our prayer. Because remember, he's a reader heart and he's search our mind. So he answers our prayers. John eleven forty one. He provides for your every need. First Thessalonians chapter five seventeen to eighteen. Jesus provides for our every need. He showers us with his blessings. Philippians four six. And yes, he do shows us with a blessing. Most important blessing we have. Besides the sun dying for us, is we have life. And most of us, every instrument in our body and working condition, in spite of, we can still move our hand, we can move our mouth, we have eyes could see, we have nose to smell, as to hear, feet we could walk. Our body in working condition, when you consider those who are sick and lying in bed. He protects and keeps us, Psalms 91. He watch over us. He go with us in our going out and our coming in. He guide, direct, and protect each and every one of us each and every day. Why it is important to have a thankful heart? Scientific research supports the health benefits of a grateful heart. Gratitude is strongly and consistently associated with greater happiness. It helps people feel more positive emotions, relish good experiences, improve their health, deal with adversity. When life gets hard, adversity means when life gets hard. You have a thankful heart and a grateful heart. It helps you to deal when tough times come. It will be tough, it will be hard, it may take a while but it helps you deal with the situation and build strong relationships. And you build strong relationships with God, which is most important. You build strong relationships with your pastor, your members in your church, your family. Family builds strong relationships. So family and friends, let us stand firm. Let us fight the fight with all your might. Let us give God praise and thanks for all that he has done, all that he has provided for us. You know, going out and coming in, he guide us, he give us breath, he give us strength, he give us a family, food on our table, no matter how small the food is, some don't have. But that best of pleasure, giving God praise and thanks there, Lord, for your goodness and your constant care. 
Thank you, Lord Jesus, for be with us at this present time and hour. Those who are dropping by, Lord, I ask you to give them the strength and the courage that they need. Some may be up and some may be down. Some, Lord, could hardly get along. But all they know is you, blessed Lord. When they call sincere to you, blessed Jesus, I know, Lord, you hear and answer prayer. And you go direct the course within their life this present time. I give you praise. I give you thanks for your goodness and your constant care always, blessed Lord. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you for stopping by. Like, share, and subscribe. You know, tell someone about the love of Jesus. Share or or the devotion to someone. So adventure it may, you know, console someone. It may cheer someone on. No one knows what one another is going through unless they tell it. And sometimes, most of the time, people keep it to themselves. But be a villager soul here. Yeah? Teach your heart to be thankful. So be thankful for each and everything and each and every day of our lives. Check your number of years we are on this face of the earth. What a privilege to give God praise and thank. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.